What is up guys, Finn here, and today is episode two of the CBR build. So today, the main focus is gonna be what I call the passenger D-lead. It's basically taking off the rear passenger seat and replacing it with one of these, a plastic cowl. It's just like the plastics you find on the rest of the bike, but it slips on there, gives it a little cleaner of a look. And also removing the passenger pegs. It's something I've been wanting to do and I really want to try, and lucky on the CBR, it's immensely difficult. It requires you to remove the tank, basically the rest of the rear of the bike, the entire battery box, and a whole bunch of other goodies. I could not find a single video on the entire interwebs of someone doing the passenger peg removal on a 2008 CBR, so I figured I'd make the video. Now to speed things up along the way for the video, I went ahead and uh, removed some of the bolts and took some things apart and found out exactly what I'm going to do to take these off. And that's basically what I'm going to do in this video. Now, upon doing that, I realized that two out of the four bolts that hold the gas tank in were missing. I ran by the local hardware store and picked up two as close of the bolts that I could find, and the washers also. Which, they'll, they'll do the job perfectly and probably save me 10, 20 bucks because OEM bolts are really expensive. So yeah guys, first things first, I'm going to remove the entire tail section, all the plastics and everything, the tail light, and then I'm going to take the gas tanks off and we'll go from there. Alright, so first things first guys, you're going to remove the rear seat, get it out of your way. Alrighty, so get the passenger seat out of the way. And then what I found was if you remove the two bolts right here holding in the seat lock, that actually, uh, where you stick the key, this part will actually slide out if you have to work it out a little bit. And it makes it a lot easier for removing this tail section, so you don't have to bend it or risk snapping it at all. And then uh, I just found a way to unhinge the sides. You just gotta be really careful. If, if you gotta put too much force, guys, you're doing it wrong because uh, fairings, they don't have too much play, especially these sports bikes sport bike ones. So you just want to be easy and a lot of times if it's not coming off real easy you may be doing it the wrong way. You just gotta be real careful guys because once they're broken they're broken and they're very expensive to replace. And just take as much time as you need guys. You don't want to break anything because that is really depressing when you do. So yeah, cool. Any of the shiny bits that are on the outside, make sure you store them in a really uh, safe place. You don't want anything getting scratched up while you're doing your modifications or basically you're taking a step back by messing it up worse. And then normally there would be some kind of clips right here. Uh, these are missing on the bike, which I'll be sure to replace anything that as I'm putting stuff back, I'm putting all the screws back as they need to be. And uh, you just want to be careful and don't let these hang too much and pull on the wires. And I, by the way guys, uh, I by no means am, am like certified mechanic or anything, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm not by any means doing it 100% correctly. This is just how I'm going about taking off the passenger pegs. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery just uh, to be safe. I don't want to make any chance of any kind of spark. I'm going to be taking the gas tank off and could get gas everywhere. Oh. I was just talking to Dan about that. It's the most depressing thing in the world is dropping a bolt and it not hitting the ground. Which means I now need to find it. Luckily I have a metal tip screwdriver. A lot of times you can just poke down in here. I think I see it. I pushed it even further. Now I'm really in trouble. Oh, I see it. And just like that, with the metal tip, I was able to fish it out. I need to try to be a little more careful with this one. Battery is gone. And as you can see, guys, I'm going to throw some gloves on because, surprisingly enough, bikes do get pretty dirty whenever they haven't been sprayed down inside the plastics, which doesn't happen too often. All right guys, so I went ahead and I got me a gas tank to put all the gas in and I'm gonna do my best at removing the gas tank. I've never really done this on a motorcycle, so wish me luck. I'm hoping to do this a little bit more graceful than Chase on two wheels, but no promises. 
Alrighty, so when I forget about which wire goes where, the black goes closest to me and the red was closest to y'all. Because they're basically the exact same plugs, so I probably will mix them up. And it looks like there's actually only one hose to really unclamp. Oh, and it's got a quick release. That's nifty, if I can get the word. I just grabbed a couple rags. Okay, it looks like it's coming off. Definitely should have grabbed a rag for this part. Probably gonna get a little messy. Take that, Dan. I was right. You're wrong. At least for now. What I asked them was, when you unplug the gas thing, there's no power going to it. Shouldn't there be like a valve that turns it off? Because I know when a bike's dead, a lot of times you can't get gas to the uh, carburetor. I mean, maybe I'm just lucky, but there's no gas coming out of there. So I think I was right. I think Dan was wrong. I'll have to look that up though. I wonder if it's only because the lid's closed, so there's like a vacuum. Alrighty, so the objective is to somehow figure out how to get this entire box, this part right here, all these electronics out of my way to get to two screws in here, or four screws, and that'll take off the passenger bags. <sighs> Almost there. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. This is the cable to the power commander, fuel supply, I think this goes to the radiator. I'm not 100% sure. But I unplugged that to get that out of the way. And then I unplugged all the lights in the back so this will pick up. And there's not. Okay. I, I don't see any screws holding it in or anything. The four bolts are almost exposed enough. Alrighty, if you actually look close enough, this is the box that's in my way. I was able to like kind of lift it just high enough where I'm able to get at this first set. So this is the first screw of four to come out. And then we're basically done with this. I'm not gonna lie, that was at least a little easier than I thought it was gonna be. It was still pretty difficult, but we ended up getting it. There you have it guys, one passenger peg no longer on the bike. I may end up putting these screws back in, one so I don't lose them if I ever do need to put this back together, and two so there's not just open holes. I'm not sure if they lead into the frame or not. I can't really see it down in there too good. So I'm just gonna stick the old screws back in. Hope they stay in. They'll have this plastic blocking them once it's back together. That'll keep it from uh, messing up again or from, keep it from coming out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side pulled out and I'll come to you guys when I get that done. So guys, as you can see, I got the second passenger peg removed and I think it looks fantastic. Of course, this is without the fairings on and I'm gonna go ahead and do that next after I get the gas tank put back on. But uh, I figured I didn't need to show that to you guys because it's basically the same process in reverse. So I'll get back to you once I get the uh, Bearings and the gas tank back on, guys. So as it is with most things, that was extremely more difficult than it was taking it off. And that wasn't even including the plastic, that was just the gas tank. Time to do the rear end. Alright <laughs> guys, so far so good. Got the back little white piece of it and the light wired up and screwed on. Now we just gotta do the 
under piece right here in the tag holder wire up the lights and then we have one more step and we'll basically be done with the rear end of the bike all right so the last part of this uh passenger delete as i'm calling it is to go from this to this in order to do that it's pretty simple they just snap on in the exact same brackets the only thing i need to do is attach this piece to right here and i'm gonna do that with this hopefully so i figure it's pretty basic and forward i'm just gonna glue everywhere that i need the rubber to stick and then i'll place the rubber piece wish me luck guys cool so that's, that's in 10 seconds i'm gonna give it a few minutes and then we'll pop it on the bike and there you have it guys you just pop this guy back on just like it's your passenger seat there we go as you can see it cleaned up this end very nicely well there you go guys, the rear passenger delete, whatever you want to call it, was a great success. Um, and that's going to conclude episode 2 of the CBR build. Till next time guys, peace.